This is Brian Dolby reporting for Sat TV at the Casbar event here in Singapore, where I'm talking to Greg Daphne of the uh, working group dealing with wireless interference. Greg, you've given a very fascinating presentation today. Give us the, the high spots of what you were telling people. Okay. Well, I'm glad you asked. Basically, we've been working for the last several years, since the previous World Radio Conference in, 19, in uh, 2007, to address the problem of terrestrial reallocation of satellite uh, spectrum. Principally, this has been focused on C-band, and the problem is that there is no reasonable, peaceful coexistence between the use of that same spectrum at the same time in the same geographic area by both satellite users and by terrestrial wireless uh, broadband users. Um, the principal allocation today uh, and for the last 40 years has been for satellite communications and in the last several years there's been a great deal of pressure to expand the amount of spectrum that is available for broadband wireless systems that we all use in, in our daily life. Um, that has extended all the way to our C-band spectrum, which operates around 3.5 gigahertz. And um, the problem essentially comes down to the fact that C-band spectrum, when used by satellites, is considerably less, um, less amplified than when used terrestrially. Basically, we're talking about a difference of 10,000 times. So when we operate at the same time as the terrestrial users are, we cause no interference to them, but they blow us out of the sky, literally. Um, and so as a consequence, we can't both be using the same spectrum. Um, there is, of course, a huge amount of pressure coming from the uh, wireless industry, the terrestrial wireless industry, to expand the amount of spectrum they have access to. And as users of broadband wireless services, as consumers, we could all recognize the, the genuine need for this. Um, the reality is that C-band is not the appropriate spectrum. It doesn't have the right propagation characteristics. Uh, for one thing, it doesn't give building penetration. So if you're a user of broadband wireless services, you want to be able to operate not just outdoors on the street, but also inside of your home and inside of your, your office. And the, uh, the truth of the matter is that the building walls block the, uh, the access of the signals. Um, in, in the case of satellites, we of course put our earth stations outside looking at the satellite with no walls between us, so we understood this principle a long time ago. Um, there is other spectrum that is available, lower frequencies that have better propagation characteristics than, uh, than C-band. Um, that do not cause interference to other users. And so we've been encouraging um, administrations and regulators to look to allocating that spectrum, which would not pose a threat to the entire satellite communications industry. Uh, and have you made progress? Is this an ongoing fight? How, how do you feel the battle's going? Well, it's, it's, we have made progress. We've been able to demonstrate to many of the administrations in Asia and around the world that, in fact, there, is, um, there are viable alternatives that are functionally better than use of C-band spectrum. Um, and we've convinced them there have been a number of countries here in Asia that originally um, began to license terrestrial use of, of satellite C-band and saw that interference was taking place when they were doing some of the beta testing. Um, at one point, there was a test in Hong Kong, where I live. Um, it was a experiment that was authorized by OFTA. Um, and unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your, your perspective, the um, consequence was during this short period of testing, the um, uh, Star TV was knocked off the air. And literally, 80 million people's televisions, at least for some of the, uh, the programming, went black. Um, this convinced OFTA very quickly that this was not a good idea, that, that sh the sharing of the spectrum was going to be more than problematic, and so they reversed themselves and did not do the, uh, the reallocation. Um, and the same things happened in the Philippines, in Indonesia, uh, in Malaysia, that have also recognized that peaceful coexistence in this case is simply not possible. Um, but in terms of the rest of the world, there are some countries where this has fallen on deaf ears and they have tried to push satellite users out of the band in favor of the terrestrial users, recognizing that they could not work together, so they made the hard choice and they made the wrong decision.
Absolutely. So there's a bit of a battle going on, but it sounds like there's hope on the horizon. Well, there is, uh, there is hope, um, but as I say, the, the, the bottom line is that today, um, handheld wireless users, which include just about everyone, and increasingly um, in, in search of more and more bandwidth, faster speeds, more broadband um, requirements, means that more spectrum is required to provide that service. Um, and so the pressure today, which is already substantial, is only going to get greater in the future. And so the, uh, the likelihood that this issue will be with us for some time to come is very great. Um, it is not going away. The next major confrontation, if you will, is taking place in 2012 in the first quarter when the next World Radio Conference, the ITU World Radio Conference, uh, takes place, at which time we expect that, and leading up to, to that event, we expect there to be many um, initiatives to do reallocation for a variety of services. Um, at the last World Radio Conference, the focus was principally on something called WiMAX. Increasingly, it will be on LTE um, and other technologies that are also bandwidth hungry. Um, and so the fight will go on, the conversation will go on, and realistically we're going to have to come to solutions, accommodation of some kind, but without having to sacrifice the entire satellite industry and our ability to provide services to our customers. Absolutely. Well, thanks for bringing us up to date on uh, SAT-TV. My pleasure. <laughs>